So welcome to our podcast reviewing the key contents on cytokine signaling and IL-6 biology at the ACR in San Francisco 2015. The whole CSF team are looking forward to seeing you at the ACR meeting. We'll be at stand number 1042 in the exhibition hall. And there's also going to be a competition this year to win a copy of the ULAR textbook in rheumatic diseases. Just drop off your business card or fill up a completed registration form. Well, we've produced a highlights brochure this year for you that will give you the relevant abstracts that occur throughout the Congress for cytokine signaling and IL-6 biology. You can download this at cytokinesignaling.com. But here's a few of my personal favourites. On the Sunday afternoon session, Rheumatoid Arthritis, Small Molecules, Biologists and Gene Therapy, we're going to hear about baricitinib, methotrexate or the combination in patients with early rheumatoid arthritis presented from Roy Fleischmann. We're also going to hear about previous biologic disease-modifying antirheumatic drug therapy exposure and efficacy and a safety analysis in a phase 3 program of baricitinib in patients who were TNFIR inadequate responders from Mark Genovese. And there'll be some more data in posters evaluating dose response from Xin Zhang and also patient reported outcomes from Paul Emery. There are over 15 abstracts this year presented describing tofacitinib biology, mainly in the area of real-world data, and I particularly highlight for you data around herpes zoster infection presented by Kevin Winthrop, and also safety analysis of tofacitinib 5 mg twice daily given as monotherapy or combination and background DMARD from Alan Kivitz. Turning to IL-6 biology, there are two orals that I would particularly highlight, this time given in the rheumatoid arthritis, small molecules, biologics, gene therapy on Sunday afternoon. One describes the efficacy and safety of ceruliumab in combination with conventional DMARDs in patients who are inadequate responders to TNF inhibitor therapy. Roy Flashman's presenting those data. Uh, Paul Emery, on the other hand, is going to tell us about the safety and tolerability of subcutaneous ceruliumab compared to intravenous tocilizumab. And there's a notable poster from Artie Kavanagh entitled Efficacy and Safety of Ceruliumab Plus Methotrexate in subgroups of patients with RA in a Phase 3 trial. Also, a couple to highlight for you, different agents, for example, olecizumab in patients with uh, rheumatoid arthritis who have previously failed anti-TNF therapy from Mark Genovese. And also a very interesting study looking at the efficacy of canakinumab, an IL-1 inhibitor, in systemic juvenile idiopathic arthritis patients previously exposed to biologic. This one from Hermine Brunner. Now, just remind you that these highlights uh, are going to be in our brochure, downloadable from cytokinesignaling.com, or you can pick up a hard copy from our stand. So we're looking forward to seeing you at ACR. Many thanks for your attention. Feel free to pass this on to any of your colleagues who might be interested.